morning and welcome to Theme Park Arctic. Today I'm doing a Q and A. I have a bunch of questions listed in front of me, um, of questions that you guys have asked, or questions I think that you guys might want to know. Starting things off then. How old am I? I'm 13 years old. Young YouTuber trying to grow a channel. Currently at 30 subscribers, which is incredible. Thank you guys so much. Um, it does mean the world to me. Um. I don't get paid for doing YouTube, it's completely for fun. Um, so yeah. That I hope that answers your question. How old am I? I'm thirteen years old. Alright then. On to the next question. Do I have a Discord server? No, I don't have a Discord server. Um I did have a Discord server but I don't now. If you want to know why I got rid of a Discord server, comment down below. But I'm not going to talk about that right now in this video. So do I have a Discord server? No, I do not. Alright then, on to the next question. Do I have Planet Coaster? Yes, I do. I do have Planet Coaster. I play Planet Coaster pretty much every day. Um, I do have two Planet Coaster videos online. On YouTube, if you want to see, them. I have two Planet Coaster POVs on there of a Vekoma SLC that I made called Toxic, and an RMC Family Coaster, which is still yet to be named. So comment on that video if you want me to name that. Um, so do I own Planet Coaster? Yes, I do, and it is console edition, by the way. I don't own a PC. Okay, then next question. My top five UK theme park YouTubers. Okay, so my top five favourite YouTubers that are in the UK then that are related to theme parks. Number five, we have Sneaky Coasters. They're a great channel. They are so good. Sneaky Coasters um, has been exploring the um, abandoned ultimate roller coaster at Lightwater Valley at the moment. Um, so yeah, he's been getting some footage of that that nobody else has really got my number fourth spot then goes to coaster crazy great channel again um quite a funny guy also owns the channel called crane crazy which is brand new and um, where we drive where he's operating tower cranes and things like that so yeah fourth spot goes to coaster crazy my third spot goes to them is the park insanity I really want to collab with him one day because uh, I, I think that would be amazing to me and Theme Park Insanity to do a collab. Um, I've seen one of his live streams um, and oh my, they are so good. He does amazing live streams. He puts so inf so much information into those live streams. Yeah, it, it's incredible. If you've not seen him, go subscribe to Theme Park Insanity. It, it's amazing. He's one of the most underrated theme park YouTubers, in my opinion. So, yeah, subscribe to him. My second spot goes to the Jack Silkstone. At the moment, Jack is mainly related to Thought Park Resort, um, which is a theme park in just down towards London. Um, and, yeah, Jack is doing some construction updates on their brand new roller coaster which is called project exodus and um, it will be the uk's tallest roller coaster standing 236 foot tall i can't wait for this thing it's going to be a mac rides hyper coaster so excited so yeah jack silkstone keep up the good work man i'm sure this is going to be an expected one to be one of my my favorite youtuber of all time related to theme parks it's of course theme park worldwide i've been lucky enough to meet him in hull hull fair which is where i live i live in hull um so yeah it's it's such a good channel that sean and charlotte do um they travel is they've just recently come back from their australia malaysia and singapore trip that was amazing um so yeah, stay tuned to for all these theme park YouTubers because when the theme park season starts again in March eighteenth. So yeah, stay tuned. So that is my top five um favorite UK theme park YouTubers. Hope that answered. YouTubers I have met then I've only ever met one YouTuber, which was theme park worldwide at Hall Fair. 
Next question, who would I like to collab with? Like I said earlier, I'd love to collab with Theme Park Insanity. Um, I'd even like to um, do a collab with Mr. J Gaming's Adventures channel one day. And even Chasing Coasters, that, that'd be great. That'd be really good, yeah. So, there are the people I would like to collab with. So, guys, if you're interested, let me know. Next question, how many YouTube channels have I had? Oh, my God. How many YouTube channels have I had? You can tell that I don't edit this stuff. Um, I have had a YouTube channel once called Cumber Croc. Um, that I had quite a while ago. Then I changed that to Crown Planko. When I start to have the liking of Planet Coaster. Then I changed it to my, my, what my last channel was. That I think that had about... I, don't, I can't really remember the subscribe count. It was definitely over 30 there. Which is what we're, we're at now. Um, and that was called Theme Park Predator. And then that video got taken, then, that, well, not video, the channel got taken down off YouTube. I don't, I don't know why, still. Um, so yeah, I recreated a new channel, which is this one, Theme Park Arctic. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the content of Theme Park Arctic. Let's hit 50 subscribers. Let's try. Next question, do I want to do a collab one day? I've already answered that really, so yes, I would like to do a collab one day with the people that I said earlier. Next question, can I sing? Well, that's up to you guys to decide. So if you want to hear me sing, then you would have to get me to 40 subscribers. And, and, there's an and on this one. And you would have to get me to 100 likes on this video for me to do a video of me singing. Um, I hope you guys don't do that, but obviously if you want to see that, you do it. Do I think I can sing? I think I can sing. You guys will probably say different. But, okay, so here's a quick preview of me singing. If you want to see that, I don't know. It's probably going to be cringe, but oh well. I'm going to do it anyways. Here we go. Right, you guys get the five second preview of Guy X. That's what I'm going to be singing for you. Five seconds. Oh, it picked me up at eight. And not a minute late. That was your preview. That's all you're getting. I think I'm good. You guys will probably say I suck. So comment down below. Next question. Will I ever quit YouTube? Hopefully not. If this channel gets deleted. I'll just create another one. So I don't think I'll ever quit. So yeah. You'll have to stick with me. Hold up guys. Hold the video right there. I just want to take this note to... Let you subscribe. You know, I want to hit 50 subscribers. So, yeah. I'm just taking this time for you guys to subscribe. So, you guys can subscribe in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Did you subscribe? If not, do it now. Or anytime you want. I don't really care. Just as long as you subscribe. Back to the video. Okay, we are back. Okay, next question. What are my thoughts on Nemesis? Also, shout out to Mr. J Gamings and Adventures. I'm going to give you a shout out in the comments, mate. So don't worry, let me know. Um, so comment down below, I've answered your question for you. What are my thoughts on Nemesis? Well, I think Nemesis is an absolutely superb ride. One of the best rides at Alton Towers. It's not the best, unfortunately. Smiler does beat that. Um, but it's an absolutely fantastic ride. You can't doubt Nemesis. Um, I'm so sad it's closed for this year, but we all know it's for a good reason. They are reopening Nemesis, so it's not gone forever. Thank God. Um, so, yeah. It's coming back. It's closed this year for a retrack, and it's opening again in 2024, which is obviously next year. Um, I don't really know. Oh, well, I'm going to talk about the layout just really quick for Nemesis. So, it starts off with a turn and the lift hill. A pre-drop, then a tiny drop, which picks up so much speed. Straight up into a corkscrew. You go around into a downwards helix, into a zero-G roll over the station. Up into a turnaround, down a ditch into a vertical loop. You go around a boring turn, which is the pretty much dead part of the ride. You go to a whippy corkscrew. I think it's quite intense, that corkscrew, before going around a turn. Into the break run, it's located to the Alton Towers in the Forbidden Valley area next to Galactica. 
get down to Walton Towers and ride it next year. So yeah, shout out to Mr. J Gamings and Ventures for that one. I think you're a really good guy, mate. So yeah, comment down below. So I currently have 38 coaster credits. And they are 7 different fairground wacky worms. <coughs> log coaster at Gulliver's Kingdom. Runaway train at Bottoms Pleasure Beach. Caterpillar at Bottoms Pleasure Beach. Queen Bee at Bottoms Pleasure Beach. Caterpillar coaster at Web Adventure Park. Three different wild mouse coasters at various front fairs. Go Gator at Pleasure Island. Runaway Train at Pleasure Island. Crash Test at Hull Fair. Four different transportation and um, little runaway train rides that literally just goes wee. That's it. Um, 13 at Alton Towers. Runaway Train at Alton Towers. Dragon's Apprentice at Legoland. Dragon at Legoland. High Hazel Mini Mine Train at Wheelgate. Buffalo Stampede at Twin Lakes, Ladybird at Lightwater Valley, Little Dipper at Lightwater Valley, um, Grand Prix Races at Gulliver's Valley, Go Gator at Flamingo Land, Rocky Ridge Railway at Gulliver's Valley, Twistosaurus at Flamingo Land, Zoom at Flamingo Land, Runaway Train at Flamingo Land, Big Thunder Mountain at Disneyland Paris, and Casey Jr. at Disneyland Paris. Trans which all added up together is a 38 coaster credits. Okay, hear me out. I know it's not a lot. Thirty-eight coaster credits. I know it's not a lot, but my family don't have a lot of money slash cash to take me places. So any place I do go, I am very lucky. I hope you all understand. <laughs>